Hey, good morning, guys. I'm on just a little bit early. I want to make sure that my audio is working, and it appears that it is. Last week, I had a little bit of trouble, and I didn't want to start out that way again today. So, give me just a few minutes here, and we'll switch up to the other camera. See you in just a few minutes. I see somebody on, yay. Good morning, Sharon. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you forever. How are you? Sharon, I'm really, really good. Super busy, but good. That's good, right? We have just a couple more minutes and then we'll get started here with the live. Like I said, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't having any technical issues and I didn't wanna wait for the nine o'clock hour to find out. Yay, that's good to know, Sharon. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, we've got a few more viewers on, so this is good. We're warming up. We have just like, I'll get started here live and just like, I mean, I am live, but I'll get the whole project started here in about two minutes. Good morning, Debbie. Yay, I know. After last week's um, little snafu with the, with the sound, I just thought I would come on a few minutes early and avoid that confusion. I do have to tell you, I have a very, very fun card for us today. And it uses that little, um, the new Hippest Hippo stamp set and the Hippo dies from the Celebration brochure. Alrighty, you guys, we'll get started. Let me switch up here. Good morning. I am so happy you are here. Um, 
yeah lots of stuff going on again well first of all it's summer right summer is always busy for all of us but um celebration is on and it goes through august 31st so be sure to check out the annual catalog and the mini catalog to make sure that you order your things that you're wanting now so that you can cash in on the bonus products from celebration all right let's flip down to the workstation and get to some serious business here all right so you can see my host code up here um when you place an order with me that is under 150 dollars please use my monthly host code at checkout not only does that um, tag you to shopping with me but it also gives me the opportunity to purchase um, or to earn stamping rewards on multiple items, which then allows me to pass on um, fun giveaways and prizes for you. So the catalogs that we have current right now are the annual catalog, May through April, the mini catalog, July through December, although it is good through January 4th, and celebration is on through August 31st. So I'll put the link down below um, and I will tag it to the live after we're done here today with my online store. If you have any questions or need help with shopping, please reach out to me. All right. So the one thing I want to show you is for today's project, we are going to be using this adorable set from Celebrations. It's called the Hippest Hippos. Isn't it cute? So you get the little hippo in a tutu holding a flower, and then this one's just kind of like passing by to say hi. Along with the product, the bonus product offer in Celebration, you can get the stamp set with a $50 purchase. That can be one of your choices for um, your bonus product. Or if you place a $100 product order, you can choose the stamp set and the coordinating dies. And these dies are really adorable, you guys. It's got the little, the little boat with the propeller. It's got a birthday hat, splashes of water, the buoy, little stars, there's hearts, flowers. Um, today, I'm going to be using um, this hippo that's holding the flower. So it's got the coordinating die for her or him. I'm going to be using the wash tub and then the little hearts that come in the die set, okay? I'm also going to be using which I use them a lot, the Stylish Shapes. The Stylish Shapes are from the annual catalog. They are not bundled with anything, and they can be found right here on page 179 or 175, and this is the inside of the annual catalog, um, the current annual catalog, the May 2022 to April 2023. They're right up here. It includes 15 dies, and it's just a great set. And it does work with the mini stamp and cut and emboss if, if that's what you have in your stamping stash. So again, stylish shapes on page 175 in the Stampin' Up! annual catalog. If you do not have catalogs and you would like catalogs, please, please, please let me know. I'm always happy to send those out to you, okay? All right, so stamp set, hippo dies, stylish shapes. Those are my tools. I'm also going to be using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad, and I'm going to be using the window pane checked ribbon. And then I have an assortment of Stampin' Blends. These come in combo packs of light and dark. So you have the light gray granite, 
dark gray granite. But I'm only going to be using the dark flirty flamingo, the dark calypso coral, the light pool party. I've got both the combo pack of light and dark um, smoky slate. And then I also have one of the new in colors. This is the light parakeet party. So stamp and blends. And let's get our card and our pieces so you can see what we're creating. So today's project is this. This cute little hippo sitting in the tub with a little piece of ribbon that looks like the towel. I used a piece of designer series paper. This comes from the Happy Forest Friends. This is an adorable, adorable paper pack. It's 12 by 12. And of course you get the 12 sheets of double-sided paper and you can see all the different designs here. I've chose this. These reminded me of little hearts and this can be found in the annual catalog with the order number 158941. Okay, so here's what I have. And then on the inside, I used the stamp, the happy birthday stamp from the Go To Greetings. You guys, this is a great set. You get the three different sizes of happy birthday, three different sizes, thinking of you, just a note and thank you. And then there's a little bonus hello in this set too. So this is the go-to greetings and this is out of the annual catalog as well. All right, so here's our paper sizes. I have our card base, which measures eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter. I have a medium basic white envelope. I have a piece of the designer series paper. And again, this is from the Happy Forest Friends. This measures two and a half by six. I have a square of Calypso Coral that's two and a half by two and a half. I have another piece of designer series paper that's one and a half by four. And these are all imperial measurements, um, so inches. And then I have a couple scraps. I have a piece of basic white and a scrap of Calypso Coral, okay? So let's start with our scraps. Is what I'm going to do is, I have this little, oh, I think that'll go away. I think it's just a little, whoops, little bit of adhesive there. Now it's gone. I just didn't like that on there if it was gonna be on near or on our hippo. I have the hippo mounted on our D acrylic block. I'm going to ink it up with the Memento black ink, tapping lightly, moving it around my pad so I get a good even coverage of ink. And I'm gonna stamp it right here, okay? All right, so that's that for right now. And I think is what I'll do is color this before we um, send it through the, the stamp and cut and emboss, okay? So is what I'm gonna do is just get this colored for us. I'm gonna use the light gray granite and I want the thick end I'm just going to give this a little bit of color. And I'm going to go around the eye. I'm going to call it her. I want this to be her, okay? I'm going to take my dark flirty flamingo and I'm just going to use the fine tip and I'm going to go around her little nostrils. And I'm going to give her just a little bit of pink inside her ears there, too. Let's take the um, light pool party. We'll give her blue eyes. And I'm just going to color 
her belly. Now, the bottom half of this you do not have to worry about because it's not going to show. Remember, we have her sitting in the tub with the flower. So I'm going to take the dark calypso coral and the fine line. Right, and I'm going to color that flower. If you haven't used the stamping blends, you guys, they're amazing. They leave no lines when you um, color. It's a nice, smooth color, but when you do, it does bleed through the other side of your paper. So be aware of that, that you have a protective surface down on your um, work surface or a scrap piece of paper on your work surface. And also, if you're doing it on the front of your card, you're gonna wanna make sure that you cut it out or that it's on a top layer and you can mat behind it so it doesn't show through on the inside of your card. All right, let's finish coloring her nose here. And you can see how quick and easy it is really to color these. I am gonna color her shoulders just a little bit because I'm not really sure how much of her is going to be sticking out. But like I said, this bottom portion, we don't even have to worry about. Okay, so that's our coloring for now. I am going to keep the smoky slate um, we're going to need those for our wash tub once we're, um, once we're done die cutting. So let's bring in the stamp and cut and emboss. And we want our little die cut pieces here. I'm just going to lay this on and we're going to line up our hippo. And I'm going to just move her over to the side. I want the second to the largest square from the stylish shapes. I want the wash tub. And then I'm going to lay my scrap piece of Calypso Coral over here. And we'll put our little hearts on there. Okay. So I'm gonna use cutting plate number three, and I'm just gonna lay that down on top of our pieces here, and we'll roll it through our machine. I love that you can do that in just one fell swoop with the big stamp and cut and emboss. All of these dies would have fit in the in the mini as well. But like I said, I just love when you can um, cut them all out at once with one, one roll through the machine. Let's get our stitched shape here. Our wash tub. All right, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool just to get these off from my cutting plate. These take your pick tools, if you don't have one, you're gonna want at least one, maybe two. Um, they're just super nice for all those fine little embellishments and, and whatnot. I love the whatnots. Okay, so we're ready to assemble. Let's bring in our card. And like I said, this was just a standard card base, scored at four and a quarter, and we are going to have it in portrait orientation. Match up my edges and give it a good, a good crease with the bone folder. Let's bring in our two and a half inch square. 
And is what I'm going to do is just add the square to that we just die cut. I'm gonna add that to our two and a half inch square. I just want that little border of Calypso Coral. So just like that. And we're going to take our piece of designer series paper, the one and a half by four inch piece Look how cute that paper is on the back too with the little mushrooms and the leaves and stuff. But we're gonna put that one down and use the other here. So I'm just going to add this to the left side of our card. And there's maybe like, a, like an inch or an inch and a quarter above and below. So is what I'm gonna do now is take my hippo and our little wash tub here. Remember I told you I wanted to save out my smoky slate? I'm gonna take the light smoky slate and I'm just going to give a little bit of color Oop, on the top and the handles little in the middle and some at the bottom here too. That'll just make our, our tub stand out a little bit more on our white square, okay? So there's our tub. I want just a little bit more in here. Okay, so then we're going to take our little hippo and she's gonna sit in the tub like that, okay? So I'm just gonna turn it over and then with my Stampin' Dimensionals, I'm gonna put some on the bottom here. I just wanna make sure I've got her where I want her in the tub, and I do. So now I'm just going to use Dimensionals to hold her right where I want her. And I'm gonna put one up here at the top and maybe one in the middle of her body too because I want that to stick down well on our, on our little square here. So I'm gonna use the take your pick tool and I'm gonna lift the backings off from my dimensionals. And then I'm just going to set her right here, just like that. And then I'm going to glue this flat down onto our card. Normally I would probably use dimensionals here, but with the, um, the little embellishment I'm going to add and being she's already raised up in the tub, I'm gonna just glue it down flat. So now it's looking like Maybe I'm a little tilted. All right. So now, in the hippest hippo, there's this little stamp that says, love you a ton. I'm going to ink that up with our memento. I'm gonna stamp it right down here. So, just like that. Before I close that, remember I talked to you about our go-to greetings, and I've chosen um, this happy birthday, the little. I felt like the font was closer to what I had here, not that, not that it has to be, but kind of fun. So I'm just gonna stamp the happy birthday on the inside. And the other thing I wanted to add, so that's it for stamping. I just, Memento Black ink was all we used today. Put my stamps over here so that I don't make a mess. 
I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna add three little dots of glue. And then with the putty tipped end of our take your pick tool, I'm gonna pick up the biggest heart and I'm gonna put that right up here at the highest point. The medium sized heart that we die cut. And again, remember these dies are from the hippo dies or the hearts I should say. So there's the front. Now we have one more thing to do. Remember I told you I was gonna use this window pane checked ribbon? I thought this made the perfect little accent and is all I'm going to do is take my ribbon scissors and you saw that I folded this in half, just like that. And then I'm gonna cut. All right, so now I'm gonna bring in my glue dots. And with the pointy tip on my take your pick tool, I'm gonna grab one of the glue dots and I'm going to put that right in between the folds on my, on my ribbon. And so that they're angled like that. we go one more glue dot pick that up with my take your pick tool and I'm going to set it right here on the very top of our tub then I can glue this down simply by pressing it on there and maybe I want to trim one of these just a bit shorter there okay so now our hippo. Good morning, Beth. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here I am again with my happiest hippos dies and stamp set. I love this set. So I added the little ribbon towel. Now this, um, there's several samples out there where people are using the ribbon, but I just love it. I love how it looks. So there she is sitting in her tub with her little Calypso coral flower. She's having a great time. Love you a ton and happy birthday. So let's bring in our envelope and our piece of designer series paper that measures two and a half by six. Is what I'm going to do is just add some stamp and seal to the flap on my envelope. And I'm going to lay this down and I want my hearts pointing the right direction or what I'm calling hearts I should say I don't know if they really are checks or hearts but I thought they look like hearts so now I can flip over and I can just follow the envelope flap with my snips Ooh, and I'm using my ribbon scissors that's a big no-no let me get my paper scissors All right, so now we have a matchy matchy envelope. And then I have this little strip and I did this on the other card too, you'll see, right on the inside here. So is what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my trimmer. Oh, that was a loud noise. And I'm just going to lay this down And I'm going to cut. I want just this little, I can use this little strip right on the bottom of my card to help bring some color to the inside of my card as well. So being this is pretty thin, I'm gonna use my liquid glue and I'm gonna use it very sparingly. You guys, if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you some swap cards that I got from one of the demo swaps I participate in every month. They're super cute. So if you want to see those, stay, stay on till the end here. All right. 
Swaps are always fun too. You get great um, layout ideas for the for your cards. Okay, so there she is. Rub a dub dub in the tub. Love you a ton. And one of my very good friends is having a birthday on Monday, so I have to pop this in the mail. I probably won't make it to um, won't make it to Idaho in time, but she'll get it. So that's today's project. I hope you liked it. Remember, likes, hearts, and shares always are appreciated. It just helps bring people to my page. And let me get out those swap cards and we'll, we'll show you a few other cards that were made by some friend, friends and demonstrators alike. So, look at this beautiful card made by Grace Ball Fans. I want to move these over. This uses the Rings of Love paper from Celebration. And then this, um, the wooden die and the stamp set, are from the annual catalog. And I forget the name, the name of it right now. It is... I think it's something like Rings of Love or one of those. It's not the annual catalog. It's the, you guys, I'm sorry. I think it is the annual catalog. And I just don't, I just don't remember which one it is. But it's really cute. It's got like a little, little house. You know where I could look? This is going to tell us. So right here on the inside of the celebration brochure, it tells you that it coordinates with the Ringed with Nature bundle that's in the July through December on page 62. See, if I would just follow my directions, I wouldn't have trouble. So it's this set right here. It's got this little house. Look at all the cool greenery and berries. Some nice sentiments. I love that it has a happy anniversary. Mushrooms, poinsettia, trees. It's a really it's a really good bundle. And then of course it comes with the dies and the um hybrid embossing folder. So check that out. Page 62, July through December mini. If you don't have a mini, be sure to let me know. I'd be happy to share with you. All right, so there's that one. Let's take a look. Oh, you guys, this one is amazing. Wait till you see this. This one was from, oh shoot, am I going to know who it's from? Yes, Michelle Baranek. So check this out. This is the Storybook Gnomes. But look at this fold, you guys. So you open, and then it opens into that happy birthday. Isn't that the cutest? And look, on the back, she put the, the sen inside sentiment in a place to write. So this, when you open it, and it stands up like this. Isn't it cool? I just love it. I love the braids on this gnome. Okay, so there's that. Thank you, Michelle. I love, love, love this card. I did not have this set, and now because of your card, I have ordered the bundle. All right, here's the next one. This one, too, uses that Rings of Love paper from the Celebration brochure. These leaves are pretty amazing, you guys. If you have not, um, if you have not looked at those or noticed those, it's a really great, great value. Um, you can find it on the back page right here, and it's on page 49 in the catalog. Now, look at this. You know how many of those you get in a pack? You get 25 leaves plus, plus the Amber Gem pack. So it's really pretty cool. And that's what she used on the card are these amber gems. I really, really like it. Okay. Next up is, oh, gal, you guys, this is from Stacy Kratz. 
She makes the cutest cards ever. Look at her hippo sitting in the tub with snorkel gear on. And look at, look at this card. Look at how it opens. Isn't that a cute idea? Stacy Kratz, you're amazing. All right, here's another one. This is from Don Michaels. And look at, she used, I'm going to take it out of here because otherwise we get too much shiny. But this is the um, Wonderful World. This is the paper and the stamp set you can get with a $100 product purchase through Celebration. So, how cool. I love that. I used this paper in my last week's Copy and Create, so if you want more ideas with the stamp set and paper, be sure to go back and look at that. Thank you, Don, for a beautiful card. You guys, I do these swaps, and I want to share them because they're just so cool. Look at this one. Isn't it cute? This is the um, Tree Lot Dies from Celebration. Look at this fun paper. This is from the um, mini catalog also. It is called the Gingham Cottage. And there's just a ton of different kinds of gingham print. But the thing I love is look how she did this card. So it's cut. Um, the card is cut at the halfway point. So it would be cut at what? Two and three quarter. And then look at when you open it up, she has a full piece of the four and a half, or I'm sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half. So on the inside, you get this cute, you can see the back of the paper. Isn't that a cute idea? Thumbs up, guys. Need thumbs up and hearts if you're still with me. I see you out there. Okay, so this next card, isn't that pretty? This is that Splendid Day um, Designer Series paper. That is in the January through December mini as well. I just want to make sure I gave it the right name, but I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, Splendid Day Specialty Designer Series Paper. It's very metallic, and it has like these white embossed pieces. I believe she used the, um, what do they call them? The fancy frames. Let me just look quickly, because that's, that's a set that I have and haven't used but I'm looking forward to getting into that. Or Fabulous Frames, that's what it is. This one right here. And she used that oval from the Fabulous Frames. And it's even embossed. It's really, really pretty. Let's celebrate. And that's from Kay Kaltoff. Thanks, Kay. I love that card. Look at this one from... Let's see, who's this one from? Hopefully I can. This one, I believe, is from Kim Lundstrom. And Kim used the um, Hello embossing folder on the back. I love the iridescent pearls. Just so fun. But look at, she did all the different bottles. And then a couple of them have the, the white baker's twine. Isn't that cute? I just love it. And then on the inside, I like how she just did that little edge of blue to bring the color inside. Thank you, Kim Lundstrom. I love my card. That's what I have today, people. And here, again, is just a glimpse of today's project using the hippus hippos and the hippo dies. So... Until next Saturday, bye for now.